Hello YouTube, today we're going to look at downgrading your Galaxy S7 Edge from Android 7.0 to Android 6.0. That's correct. If you're having some issues, watch this video and downgrade to Marshmallow. Alright, just like any other video based on Samsung devices, you will need Odin and a stock firmware. The stock firmware can be downloaded from samfirmware.com. You have to be registered and logged in to this particular website. Now, once you go to the page, just go ahead and search for the model number. In my case, it is the G935F Exynos Indian variant. And once you hit search, you will see a list of firmware. So choose your country. It will always show you the latest version which is 7 but scroll down and you will see 6.0 so download the firmware of your choice and then from the link in the description also go ahead and download Odin which is the software used to flash firmwares on Samsung devices. Now once both these files have been downloaded just go ahead and extract them to a particular folder which is easily accessible for you. Once that is done, we will go ahead and power off the device. And please note, this may void your warranty. So if you're concerned about your warranty, please ensure that you don't do this. Otherwise, you may lose warranty on your phone. So press and hold volume down, power and the home button. The moment you see a blue screen, press volume up to continue into the download mode. And make sure you have 50% battery before you do this and you've backed up all your data because everything will be erased. Now, as you can see, FRP lock is off. It's very essential for you to ensure that that is off. And next, what you need to do is go ahead and connect the phone to the computer. In case you're connecting the phone in download mode for the first time, give it a few seconds and ensure that the computer has internet access so that it can automatically download and install the driver. Next up, uh, go ahead and open Odin as we will be using it to flash the firmware. Go to the extracted ROM. In the BL tab, select the bootloader file. Let it load and then in the AP tab, load the AP file. Similarly, in the CP field, you will have to load the CP file. And last but not the least, in the CSC field, load the CSC file. Now, just go ahead and hit start. Now, wait patiently till the download completes. It may take three to five minutes. In case it takes a little longer, please be patient. Don't worry at all, it will definitely complete. Once it is completed, your phone will automatically reboot to the home screen. Now the first boot will take about 8 to 10 minutes. So please don't panic. Let it boot. And once the boot is complete, just go through the setup screen. And if you go to settings and go to about, you will notice that your phone has been successfully downgraded to Android 6.0. So if you're having some issues with the official no good ROM, you can go ahead and do this while Samsung fixes the issues. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching smartphone tutorials. Goodbye.